San Bernardino is broke and the city is now in bankruptcy. So now it is bracing for severe cuts all across the board. But this morning it is promising to preserve one important thing. Public safety the highest priority. Now fire and police officers, officials are talking about their plans to continue providing emergency services and Phil Schumann reports for us. So what happens now? That's what so many in the city of some 200,000 are asking and they're still trying to get used to this whole bankruptcy idea. After all, the city council just voted on it Tuesday night. Let's start with reaction from school crossing guard Al Rosales. I was pretty much in shock. Uh you know, that they went into the bankruptcy mode. I knew they were having problems financially, yeah. but I didn't know it was this bad. Rosales, one of those both the police and the fire chiefs were talking to this morning when they tried to reassure the public that if they call 911, they'll still get an answer. We have a tremendous support system here in the community and tremendous involvement from the community. That involvement and that support is a very important force multiplier for us, and I expect that to continue. Basically, the bottom line for us is that we will continue to provide emergency and essential services to the residents of this community. The fire department remains committed to our public safety. The protection of life and property within our community remains our highest priority. And while we've already had to and will continue to make accommodations in the entrance of the current economic situation, we will do our best. That's for police and fire. As for the rest of the city services, drastic cuts are likely. I mean, do you have faith in the city government? Does anybody? <laughs> I mean, you know, we elect them or, or whatever, and, and we hope they do their best. So bottom line, for now, police and fire services remain unchanged. But as for other city services, other city departments, pretty much everything is on the table. Bankruptcy protection gives the city a breather and time to come up with a plan to reorganize the entire city's finances. In San Bernardino, I'm Phil Schumann reporting. Back to you.